disgraceful. Newly constructed highway and this man-made contributed disaster affecting a community that was there before the highway. After professionals were consulted and paid and this is an outcome within the short term after the highway was open. Professionals were paid. This is disgraceful. Now, while I may not be aware of the specific surrounding this engineering project, there are things relating to the project that begs the question as to whether or not the professionals who were involved were not aware of the realities or the likelihood of outcome risks, if you will, specific to flooding. The size of the rocks gives an indication of the volume or the velocity rather of the water in addition to the volume, yes. So in that respect, as the professionals involved, knowing that you are going to be altering the landscape, removing trees, natural foliage that will assist with basically having some of the water being absorbed within the soils, that actually being reduced because of the fact that you are clearing the land and you are adding pavement, which in and of itself is going to be increasing the speed at which the water will move down slope. Is it not a case where based on just that in and of itself, you would have had mitigative elements installed to assist with drainage. Not only that, considering the realities or the circumstances that we are faced with as a country in the context of the climate change, and we all have been talking about the actual reality of climate change being here and rainfall intensity increasing and the frequency of rainfall intensity increasing. Weren't professionals who specialize in hydrogeology and or hydrogeology consulted to assist further with basically having those models created in terms of the flood or the rainfall intensity models. And in that respect, again, considering that you would have been undergoing or undertaking this project, you could see the likelihood that let's just say a 50 year flood or just by you altering the landscape, the reality of the velocity of water and the volume of water increasing and as such affecting the communities that are on the fringes of the, of the highway. Were those things considered and in that respect, the mitigative elements of the engineering put into place? If the answer to the questions asked is yes, then I think we as a country and as well as, you know, an overall body need to really think a little bit more harder about, you know, the kind of practices we can put into place to really reduce the occurrence of these outcomes. We need to put a lot more effort into having greater collaboration between geoprofessionals and engineering professionals. It cannot be a case where there is this gap that exists because at the end of the day, who is basically feeling it is the public, the residents. In the context of the Grand Spain community, generally speaking, or as it would have been, and as they have highlighted in, in articles that I have come across, they are aware of flooding in the past. And based on where they're located, they're located within an area generally where, you know, there will be the flow of, of water.
from the hillside, from the hillside. That is natural. When now the highway comes in and the alternate roads also come in, then what it is that we're now doing is that we are basically increasing the speed at which basically water can can just run because it's not necessarily being absorbed by the soil. We're removing foliage. If that is the case, a lot more emphasis has to be put in place into draining and or moving the population from that particular location. It's great injustice for the residents in the sense that their properties now, not only they have to think about recovery, but also the attractiveness of their property of their property can be affected negatively. In other words, the value of their property can be affected just the same negatively. It converts to, you know, the pre idea of it being benefited positively. Because if I know that this location is highly vulnerable or susceptible to flooding that is associated with the or contributed by the highway or the newly constructed highway, I will not be purchasing that property or I'll not be considering to rent that property. So these are things that we need to be thinking about and looking at as a public.